Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's lesson, we'll be answering the question, what is a connected graph? Important thing to know, connectivity comes up a lot in graph theory definitions. So without further ado, let's get into the lesson. And we begin with this graph here. This graph, as it so happens, is a connected graph. And what makes it connected is that every pair of vertices in this graph is connected. Recall that two vertices are connected, for example, B and E, if and only if there exists a path that connects them. So, for example, we could go from B to C, from C to D, and then from D to E. That is a path that connects B to the vertex E. And there exists at least one such path connecting every pair of vertices in this graph, and that is why it's a connected graph. For one more example, C and F are connected vertices, and we can see that. We could go from C to G, from G to D, from D to E, and then from E to F. And of course, there are many other paths we could have taken, but the point is, there exists at least one path connecting every pair of vertices in this graph. That's what makes it a connected graph. So to put it simply, a connected graph is a graph in which we can get from one vertex to any other vertex by traversing edges of the graph. Now what if we wanted to look at a graph that is not connected? Well, let's add a little bit more to this graph so that we have an example. There's an edge. We'll give it a vertex on either side, of course, like any good edge has, and we will label these vertices H and I. Now, this graph is no longer connected, so we say that it is disconnected. Pretty predictable terminology, so if a graph is not connected, it's disconnected. We know that this graph is disconnected because there does not exist a path from, for example, E to I. Those two vertices are not connected. And if, in a graph, there exists a pair of vertices that is not connected, then that graph is not connected. Of course, C and H aren't connected, F and H aren't connected, D and I aren't connected, and you see how the problem arises here. You can see now that if we start in any of these vertices in this graph, we're not going to be able to traverse edges to get to H or I. And if we start at H or I, we're not going to be able to traverse edges to get to any of these vertices. So indeed, this graph is not connected. It is a disconnected graph, and it's made up of connected components. Component is the word I just used there, so what is a component of a disconnected graph? Well, we'll go over that more in detail in another lesson, but put simply, the components of a disconnected graph are the largest connected subgraphs, which are these in this case. So again, every disconnected graph is made up of connected components. And it's pretty easy to tell at a glance that this graph is not connected. We can clearly see that some of these vertices can't possibly be connected. Similarly, before we had this edge and two vertices over here, it was pretty easy to tell that this is a connected graph. But it isn't always so easy to tell if a graph is connected. So here's a bit of a trickier example. Take a second and look at this graph and you might be inclined to think that it is a connected graph at first, but closer inspection reveals that it is not, in fact, a connected graph. For example, there's no way to get from this vertex to this vertex by traversing edges of the graph, because those two vertices are not connected. So this graph is indeed a disconnected graph, but it's not super obvious at first glance that it is a disconnected graph. We can see more clearly that it is disconnected when we look at it drawn a different way. Drawn like this, it's very evident that this graph is not a connected graph. And we can see that this graph is indeed the graph we were previously looking at. It was a little harder to tell in the previous drawing, though, because the two components of the graph were drawn on top of each other. So that doesn't make it super easy to tell that it is a disconnected graph. So just be aware that when you're looking at the drawing of a graph, it might not always be immediately clear whether or not it's a connected graph. So one last time, a graph is connected if and only if every pair of vertices in the graph is connected. And a pair of vertices is connected if and only if there exists a path that connects those vertices. 
So I hope this video helped you understand what connected graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Before and after life, all that you dream.